GitHub Copilot. It has been a very hot topic recently and I kind of was just sitting there listening to the opinions of other people before I kind of make my own because I like to have some fundamentals coming from different perspectives before I say something myself from a perspective strictly of a web developer. I've had time to look into it, I've had time to think about it and I will not be using GitHub Copilot for now. Now here are the reasons why, and I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. There's a lot of people saying, you know, how amazing it is and how fantastic it is. And I agree in some ways. I agree that it's quite good at doing certain things. Now bear with me, let me kind of set the scenario and explain it to you why I think that is. And I'll tell you what it's good at, and I'll tell you why it's still not good at some things and why we will probably still have to wait a little bit. As we know, GitHub Copilot is basically an AI tool. GitHub partnered with OpenAI to come up with this software that will basically auto-complete your code. And it's not just auto-complete a line, it will auto-complete whole functions, whole classes. Let's picture a scenario where we are someone that's new to coding, someone that doesn't have much knowledge and they want to learn and they want help at doing so. Now, of course, we all know that we make use of Stack Overflow and just generally the web and Google to search things up. We need that refresher knowledge to just follow our daily routine of coding. Everyone searches things on the web. Now, the great thing I think about GitHub Copilot is when it comes to really simple things, when it comes to things that you might forget how to do, uh, that are used daily, that are very repetitive, things that you come across using quite often, you'll get GitHub Copilot actually out of completing those things for you. Now, there is one scenario where I think GitHub Copilot could be absolutely amazing. Whenever we set up a project, whenever we set up a new repository with a new piece of work, obviously there is all that set up to do. We need to, for example, if you're building a front-end application, we need to set up a React front-end basic boilerplate. We need to create a database connection. We need to connect to the server. Now, those are things that are very repetitive. They always seem to be very similar, and GitHub Copilot could be very good at doing those. It would also be very good at just reminding you things. Whenever you forget how to, for example, uh, add an array or, uh, you know, how to loop over something, especially for people who are just learning, I think it's a great tool to have on your VS Code, where currently it comes in beta, to just play around and learn. The other thing I think that could be quite good about GitHub Copilot, and I'm not sure if this is something that works over time or it's something that's going to come into play a little bit later on, but it's GitHub Copilot actually remembering individual user preferences. Not everyone would agree with the way we do things. Some people have completely different ways of uh, approaching problems or solving problems. So here is where I don't know how well GitHub Copilot would work. Now, when I actually played around with it, I found that uh, I had a certain way of doing things. And it wasn't like I was doing some crazy, really weird, uh, abstract things that, you know, nobody has ever done before. I just have a way of writing things that suit my needs. Now, I found that GitHub Copilot was actually suggesting things to me and those suggestions were very distracting. Uh, I had an idea set in mind and it was trying to propose something else, something that didn't fully match what I wanted. And then when I was running for the different suggestions, it was just a big hassle. And uh, I wasted more time on running and reading the suggestions than actually focusing on writing my own code and executing it. We all write bespoke code. So GitHub Copilot can't fully adjust to that. Yes, it has a huge repository of code, billions and billions of lines that it can refer to and stitch things together to give you the answer that you want. But those things are not necessarily going to work when it comes to being very specific about your requirements, what you have to include in the code. Now, I saw this really interesting video where I can't remember the person's name, but they were seeing how quickly Codepilot can solve algo expert questions. And in those kind of scenarios where you have a set question that a lot of people have done before and tried before, yes, of course, it's going to do really well in that case because so many people submitted that code to GitHub. GitHub used all the repositories out there available to teach this algorithm to solve these questions. So that is very expected. But what if I give Copilot something much more complicated, maybe something to do with my machine learning uh, that hasn't been done before and is very innovative, will Copilot be able to solve that? 
Probably not. It might come up with something, but it's definitely not going to be something that you are needing in that certain scenario. Now, when it comes to any new AI advancements, we are all kind of in that position where we expect things to be incredible. We expect the machine to uh, do everything for us. We have these really high expectations of AI that are not very close to reality. I feel that if we give Copilot a few years, it could actually come up with being quite good. Like I mentioned before, remembering your coding preferences, giving you things that you might be using or helping you with uh, really complex project setups. That would be really awesome. But for now, it doesn't really give me value. It doesn't give me anything uh, extra with my level of knowledge to what I could use or to how I could work with it. Uh, and on top of that, it just makes things a little bit more distracting for me. Maybe for autonomous tasks, maybe for repetitive tasks uh, where you write the same lines of code and they repeat over and over again. Yes, that might work, but with very, very bespoke stuff, not really. Now, will Copilot ever take your job? Because I know a lot of people will probably be asking that question. Absolutely not. We still need to remember that Copilot in some way is effective because we're there monitoring it and basically making those more accurate choices in its place. We also have to remember that as programmers, we're not just there to be typing out blocks of code constantly. Uh, there is more to that. We have more jobs than that and more responsibilities. So no, it's not going to take our jobs. Now, I hope this gave you some insight. Uh, I will not be using Copilot for now. We'll see what will happen in a few years. And I'm really interested at hearing your opinions. But as always, I'm going to end this video here. Without any further ado, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.